Hi there, this is Jeb Adams, and I'm back here again with Kendra, the Singer 201K sewing machine, and some of the progress we made earlier today was really went over all these driving rock shafts and hook driving shafts and rocker arm horizontal bars and all that stuff and it's come really really clean um, first off one of the things I did want to say was that I was using nail polish to mark the mesh of the gears so there's nail polish on the the hook driving shaft bevel gear and then there's nail polish here on the um, hook shaft bevel gear and had had a little bit of a chat recently with uh, with Allison and uh, we we're talking about how well nail polish adheres to greasy surfaces and it does somewhat uh, so that piqued my interest because as part of a, doing a little bit of test as a result of that discussion I was cleaning the nail polish with a toothbrush and soap and water and it was still staying there. It would get a little bit scratched on the surface but it was still adhering. And what finally did remove the nail polish was a stainless steel wire brush and even then it removed the nail polish and kind of two or three big chunks, you know, it didn't really powder up or anything, it really stayed together. So it put up a valiant effort, but anyway, as a result of that, I got into cleaning down here, and I took the, the, the stainless steel wire brush, and the oil, and the grease, and I had a plastic, I've also got a little plastic wire brush, and other little brushes and that, and uh, for the sake of about two or three hours to, earlier today, got all this stuff really really clean I'm really really not to brag but I am really really pleased with it but to get back to the job at hand um, because ideally my point here is maybe not this video maybe the next video but my point is to get the bobbin case all cleaned and get it back in the machine and working so I won't get it back in the machine today but I will get it cleaned and I'm just doing the regular my regular crud cutter, whoops, it is easy to knock my oil over, and I've got a little paintbrush here, so where's my needle nose pliers? They're here. Let me move this stuff up so everything's kind of in the same frame. That keeps falling over, so we'll move that. So, so yes, here we have the bobbin case. This is a hundred percent crud cutter, so these things have come pretty clean already, and you can tell by the discoloration of the water. And then I'm just going to give that a bit of water just to knock the crud cutter off, and see if there's any missed spots. It's looking really, it's looking a lot better than it was. So we'll put that in, whoopsie daisy, we'll put that in the soapy water. That's my water brush, that's my crud cutter brush. I'll take a look at this guy here because it was too big to get submerged in the water. And this was what I really wanted to take a look at. I think we're going to have to put it back in with this side down. But it's still cleaner than it was. It's act and the back is like really cleaner than it was because it was really uh, varnishy right there and right there, right by those two screws. So the crud cutter does a, you know, it does a bang up job. I'm just going to throw that in, in the soapy water as well. I don't think I can get that any cleaner. Let's take a look at the the hook shaft, see how it's doing here. Oopsie daisy, I dropped it. So that's pretty nice. 
We'll throw that in the soapy water too. What else we got left in here? There's something else in there. Oh, there's a little screw. It's the hook shaft screw. There it is there. I think it's just going to be easier just to... There we go. And now I'll throw them in the water. Cool. So all we got left in there is dirty crud cutter. Yeah, dirty crud cutter. Now, I never put this in the crud cutter. Because it's already, you know what, I want to put it in there. I do. It's got nail polish on there to mark the mesh. And I memorized and counted the position of the teeth of where the, the nail polish should be. We know where it is there. But anyway, let me put that in the soapy water now. And let me put that in the clean water. And let me see what the damage is. So we still got, even after being in 100% crud cutter for 15, 20 seconds, maybe half a minute, our, uh, our nail polish is still holding up valiantly. So I'm going to get these guys out now. And where's my... Where's my... I need my... It's not a colander, but it's like a colander. It's a strainer. Where did I put the strainer? There it is, right there. So we'll put those guys in there. I don't feel anything else in there. We'll give them a swish around. Try my hand for a minute. Cool. There's one. We'll line them all up for inspection, eh? See if they're up to snuff. Okay. So this is the top of the the hook shaft device. And uh, there's a lot to it. Like there's like the hook and the, you know, there's two or three springs. Oh, there's three or four or five springs at least. So we'll dry that off. We'll dry this off quickly. And then we're going to take the hair dryer to it. Well everybody got a nice bath in the crud cutter. So that's good. And then we'll put our little friends in the in the strainer. I'm just going to move the camera back a bit, friends, and then raise it up a little. So I've got the hair dryer on high heat and a low blow. But I want to just check them and see for dryness. Well, I don't feel any real dampness, but I'm going to give them, give them some more anyway. Okay, I'm going to stop with the hair drying on the, the parts there. That was our 10 minute, 10 minute mark. And we've got all the parts clean and dry and ready to, to be assembled. So I'm going to stop here and next time we're going to get together.
and we're going to assemble that and put it inside the um, inside the sewing machine. So really happy that everything's coming out as well as it has, as clean as it is. And I uh, hope that uh, you guys are, I hope this is of value to uh, everybody here watching. Thanks for stopping by. Please like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And uh, come on back. Ciao, amigos.